What's up everyone? Welcome back for the next race. Fuck yeah. By the way, yes, it is really late at night. So I'm talking like a retard. Alright, anyway, gonna be rocking out on Tiny Arena. Let's get this fucking show on the road. You know, I don't know why they call it Tiny Arena. This track is pretty big. You know, believe it or not, this game is actually my first Crash game. Like, I, I'm not actually too familiar with the Crash Bandicoot games. This is the only one I think I've ever actually played. Although it's technically not really like a Crash game. I mean, it is, but it, you know, it's a spin-off. It's not a main series game. But it still is my first Crash game. And I gotta say, I definitely enjoy it. And it is kind of ironic that his name is, you know, Crash, and, you know, it's a racing game. There's a lot of crashing that occurs in racing, typically. Depends on the kind of racing, though, I guess. There's some racing games I've played where there's virtually no crashing, and then some racing games where I go out of my way to cause a shit ton of crashing. <laughs> uh, either way, it's all in good fun. I've always loved racing games. I've always loved racing and just motorsports in general. I grew up watching NASCAR, and I've always loved it. In fact, I might actually be going to see a NASCAR race in a few months with my dad, so definitely looking forward to that. Should be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, see what everything sounds like once I'm done with this recording session. Hopefully, again, this microphone will be all good to go. Uh, I still got to go back and watch these videos when I'm done with this recording session and see, but at the very least, I'm not hearing the buzzing sound, so hopefully there will be no other issues with this particular microphone. But at least now I know I think the issue was my microphone and not the recording device. Cause if it, again, if it was the recording device, then I'd have a serious problem because that recording device was a huge and expensive investment for me. Like, I really should not have bought it, to be honest, because, like, it was really expensive. Quite frankly, I did not have that kind of money in my budget. Oh, that was a good hit. Especially after I, you know... Especially with buying the PlayStation 3, I didn't really have a budget for that either, but I kind of just did it. See, I have this issue where if I want to buy something and I don't buy it, like, for the longest time, it'll just piss me off that I don't, you know, buy it. If I just, like, don't have the money or something, but I really want to buy something and I just can't, it just pisses me off to no end. Which is why sometimes I just buy things even when I quite frankly, don't have the money, or I just really shouldn't. But, uh, uh, what can I say? I just really love shopping. Especially when it's for video games. I just like to have stuff. Besides, not gonna lie, it's pretty fucking amazing having, like, nine video game systems and over 400 games. Like, it's pretty... Pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, even just looking at all my video game systems right now, I mean, holy shit. It looks amazing. That being said, the way I have all my systems set up, it's nothing fancy. In fact, it's my setup is rather ghetto, to be honest. But it's still fucking amazing having, you know, sitting down here looking at nine different video game systems. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, that guy was trying to kill me. What a bitch. Oh, 
Oh shit, I think I'm hearing the buzzing again. All right, well, I think that theory just went up in smoke. Yep. Son of a bitch, I'm hearing the buzzing again. All right, well, I'm just gonna cut it here then. I'll see you guys next time, peace out.